I think the mindset for us is to play with confidence. I think we've, we've liked the way that we've played in the second half of the year so far, and I think for us, if we, if we play hard and, and uh, play with confidence this weekend, I think we'll like our result. You know, we want to finish off strong. Everyone's been excited. It's uh, the best time of year. Everyone uh, really buying in, so it's going to be a fun time for the boys. Well, our league has been a deep league for a long time, but I think the parity this year is unmatched uh, since I've been part of this league. Uh, I know everybody feels like anybody can beat anybody. You hear that every year, but I don't know if it's ever been more true than this year. Uh, you just look at these matchups, and I wouldn't be surprised if anybody won. And uh, certainly, our series holds true to that, uh, with us playing three games and it being a one-one and one series. So, you know, it's uh, our league is deep. Uh, there's a lot of parity in it, and uh, you know, anything can happen over the next two weeks. UConn's a very strong team this year. Um, they're pretty deep, much deeper than they have been in the past. So I think it'll be a real, uh, real tight series. But um, I think, like I said, if we if we continue to play like we have here, I think. Things will uh, bode well for us. Our seasons have mirrored each other in a lot of ways. I mean, they had a tough first half, and then they won seven on their last eight and got the bye. And you know, they're an older team. They've got a big senior class. They've got good juniors. Uh, I'm not surprised they had the finish they had. Uh, they do a great job coaching that team. I think one of the best players in the country, Max Latunov. Their goaltending situation is deep. Uh, so we, we, we certainly understand what we're in for. There's a, certainly a level of respect uh, that we have for this team, and you know, we know we're going to have to be at our best in order to beat them. It's going to be a hard-fought series for sure. You know, we know a lot about each other, and that's what makes it fun. You know, the games are always uh, a good battle, and we're excited to uh, get the weekend off. Well, I thought we were actually playing good hockey in the first half, but our record certainly didn't indicate that. But there's a difference between playing good hockey and winning hockey, and I thought in the second half, we started playing more winning hockey. We didn't make the magnitude of the mistakes that we made early in the year at key times in games. I thought we defended better. Uh, our power play was better. Uh, our goaltending was better. Our defense were better. Uh, everybody just played a little bit better. When you do that, you start winning hockey games. Definitely our mindset coming into the games and really starting off strong. You know, we really want to get those good jumps and get on top of teams. So I really think those starts have helped us get where we are and hopefully will get us farther. I think first of all, we, had a, we have a young team, so I think uh, as the year progressed, um, we've only gotten better, and I think kind of the struggles that we had in the first half, I think uh, things were tight, and I think uh, in the second half, we really loosened up, and guys have really found their game, so I think uh, every individual guy has kind of really elevated his game so far in the second half. Yeah, with the combination of the bye and spring break, it certainly gives us a chance to just focus on the next two games, gives us a chance to get healthy. You know, we've been battling the flu. Uh, Jordan Greenway was gone for the Olympics, gives him a little downtime. Uh, some key guys have been played, played a lot of hockey with the World Juniors, so uh, it's also the psychological aspect of it. You know, five teams in our league get a bye, and you're one of them. It makes you feel good about yourself. So, add all that up, it was uh, it's been a nice seven or eight day stretch for us. I think. Uh... Having no class this week is kind of good timing for us having our, our first series. So I think guys have definitely taken advantage of, of that extra time that we have to kind of chill and relax. Let's do or die. And you know that kind of gives you that little bit of an edge to bear down and really give it your all for the final, uh, final, final stretch. So, you know, I mean, it makes it exciting, but you know, it's also in the back of your head to really get the job done. It's definitely do or die for us. You know, we lose this weekend, the season's probably over for us. So I think, uh, that's definitely well known around the locker room, and I think uh, just the everyday things guys are guys are definitely taking care of, and practice, off ice things, just taking care of themselves. I think uh, definitely extra emphasis on that, knowing uh, the stakes this weekend. Well, just focusing on every shift. I know it's cliche-ish, and I know it may be you know Belichickian, but uh, you've just got to focus on the next shift because these games are going to be hard. There's going to be some ups and downs, peaks and valleys. You can't get too high when things are going well, and you certainly can't get down when you make a mistake. And you know, you got to be mentally tough to play 60 minutes, no matter what's going on, no matter what the score is, no matter what the situation is. And you know, we've had a real good feel here over the last 10 days, and guys have worked hard. Uh, we feel like we're refreshed and focused and excited about Friday night.